what is a UAV? Well, a, a UAV uh, is a lot of different terms that I use to, to describe them. Sometimes you hear drone or RPV or UAS. And uh, it, it's a very broad term. And you know, the government, the FAA, which is the regulating body for the US airspace, they have a definition for it, but it's very broad. And, it, and actually, if you read the definition, RC model airplanes fall under that definition, which basically, uh, you know, the definition is basically is anything that's flying through the air that's either controlled by a computer or is being remotely piloted by a person on the ground, or you know, of course, it could be any, another aircraft. And uh, I, I think uh, you really have to look at the AMA rules to uh, to come up with a definition for UAV that makes sense. And, and again, I've, I've talked before of the AMA safety code and you know, what, what are the restrictions? Basically, you know, it has to be done for fun. You have to make, being in control, a person has to be in control of the airplane at, at all times. And you have to maintain line of sight. So it's, if, if you're flying something and, and it fails to meet one or more of those three requirements, automatically you're a UAV. And in the United States right now, commercial UAVs are, are basically illegal. I mean, on, I mean, they are allowed on a very restricted set of circumstances. I think over the next couple of years, the rules are, are, are going to be changing. But right now, uh, if you're not flying under the AMA rules, uh, chances are that you're not, you're not legal in the eyes of the FAA. Uh, again, you know, there are some police uses. Of course, there's also military uses for, for UAVs. And, and, you know, of course, FPV is, kind of, is really a, a sub-classification of RC flying. So, so there's, there are ways around it, but there's a lot of rules in place. Uh, I think uh, the airspace is going to be opened up a lot more over the next couple of years by the FAA, exactly how we still don't know. But, but bottom line is, you know, carefully look at the AMA safety code, look at the rules for FPV flying, and if you follow the rules, you'll be fine. And, and I think there's, there's a lot you can do within those rules. So, you know, just make the most of them and uh, keep, a, keep a lookout, you know, on my website and elsewhere uh, as the situation changes.